uh, expression too that you know after last night you have a very good good pints and so forth and the next morning you have a what do you call that hangover, hangover. yeah it's a very nice hangover <laughs> so you know <laughs> anyway so the you know the, the so the, the really something useful useful to you know when when you don't have hangover that morning to do a meditation when you say every day that might be difficult but in a regular basis you know then we will have as i mentioned earlier over the decades we will see the result the result we won't see after doing meditation to you know few minutes at like eight, nine, ten minutes for few sessions, no, it won't see. We will not experience results. But if we continue like that, you know, over the years, over the decades, there's no doubt, you know, that we'll see the result. So that is really something that I, I usually say, that's the foundation. If you really want to work with your mind, that's the foundation. Your mind must be have that kind of qualities. Then it is like you know the, uh, when I was small, when I was small before I uh, became monk, you know, and uh, uh, I was I was living with my parents, with my siblings, and just behind the, this small Tibetan community, at that time, the, the, the Indian, that Indian community now is very big. You know, the, when we were first moved there, very, very small, less than 10, 15 houses. And uh, now, more than three, 400 houses. And it is very interesting. At that time, only, you know, the, from, our, uh, from Tibetan village where, where I lived, there were only uh, 21 houses. And out of the 21 houses, uh, there were, we were eight children go to school every morning. I mean, of course, not Saturday and Sunday, but uh, sun, Saturday in India, Saturday you have to go to school. And here it's holidays, isn't it? So the, uh, so the, you know, the, but in that Indian community, there isn't a single boy or girl go to school. Really, but now it's really amazingly trans amazing transformation. Every morning, you will see the, you know, 50, 60 Indian children going to school from that same village. Very nice to see that, you know, the, and the, because of the, 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 that state government, you know, the, few years ago, they introduced a scheme when the girls uh, reach, I think, the fifth standards or fifth class, then the state government gives a bicycle. When the boy reach eighth standard, they give a bicycle. So, they, you know, lots of bicycles. Anyway, the, <laughs> yeah. Point, point what I'm making. Yeah, point what I'm making. But the Indian bikes are not here. Extremely heavy. Who, no. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but the point of what I'm making is that that Indian village, they they still the family is still there. I mean, the, of course, the parents I think they passed away, but the the children, the say next generation, they they there were two potters, potters clay, making clay pots and uh, plates and so forth, the cups and those days, you know, the cup to to have it uh, to have a nice Indian tea is in a clear cup, which is very nice. You know, the, as soon as you finish, you can play with it. Just throw it and, you know, and so forth. So the, and that in the, uh, you know, the, the village is not very far from where my parents live. You know, the, so the, very often we'll see this family, you know, making, you know, the, their earning to, they, they live. And this, you know, going usually, you know, the, uh, the son or the daughter, will be turning the wheel. The wheels are quite big, you know. And then the father, usually father, will be 
playing, holding the clay in the middle, and the mother will be making the clay. So the, the, the point what I'm making here is this. The clay, which is clay, which is in the center of the wheel, and when the wheel is turned, then the father's you know, hands make a, a very small movement. The clay shapes in a different shapes. Why? Because the clay is extremely flexible. If it is tough, it will not shape that nice easily, because the clay is, you know, the the the, the water, the moisture, everything is in a right condition. Then it is very easy to even the small slightest movement of the finger, the shape changes. And that is the example in here. When our minds have that kind of quality, stillness and the clarity, then it is very, very easy to transform either into compassion, love, altruism, wisdom. You know, it, is, it is very easy to change. At the present, at this stage, many of us, you know, the, although we want to experience tremendous sense of love, compassion, altruism, and wisdom, but the, you know, our mind is not doing it because it hasn't got that flexibility like that Claire has. In this case, flexibility, the stillness and the clarity is not there. And this Tibetan term, which is very nice, it says, Sem Tulua. Sem Tulua. You know, Tulua has a, it is translated in English, may not be a very nice connotation. You know, the, in English it is translated, you know, the, uh, what's called the, um, uh, tame, tame your mind. I don't know whether it's right, uh, good connotation or not. But in a Tibetan, it has a very, very nice connotation. And this tulua, xing tulua, it is also used, tul, this term is used, you know, when the farmers, when the farmers want to, before they, you know, sow the seeds of that year's, their crops, what they do? They make the field extremely soft and, and put all the fertilizers, everything, when the field is in that kind of condition, all the, you know, the, 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 the uh, moistures and uh, you know, the fertilizers and the plowing, there's no big you know, lumps of, all are very, that, 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 that kind of field is also called xing tulua. That means the, the whatever, sow, whatever seed that you sow, ready to grow. You know, here, the, and again, it is also the same term is used to, to, the, to the mind. Sem, tulua. Sem means the mind. So that is really something useful. You, we should, we, uh, you know, the, if you really want to, you know, the, work with your mind, that will, be, that will be the first step. Cultivating, nurturing, you know, and it, to do that, you don't need to learn deep philosophies. You don't have to have religious belief, faith. You can do it without all those baggage. You know, and it's not that difficult. Not that difficult. So now, that is one thing. Now then, the, as I mentioned earlier, then meditation. Meditation is the general term, general, you know, the mental uh, events or the activities. Now then, how to do the meditation? Say, the, how to do the meditation to develop compassion? It's quite different from how to do the meditation to develop wisdom. You know, the, how to do the meditation to develop compassion? is very much your, your, during the meditation, 
five minutes, 10 minutes, or you know, 15 minutes. During that meditation session, when you say, I'm meditating on compassion, I'm meditating on love, what you should be doing, you are that calm, clear mind, that you know, nice, very flexible mind, is tuning into, turning into compassion or love or altruism. Altruism, love, compassions are not somewhere there as an object. And your mind's looking here to like it going to, you know, the, you know, to the supermarket and looking at the shelves, you know, what is, what is in there. And you will find hundreds of breakfasts and you don't know what to buy. And they come back with empty-handed. <laughs> so many choice, you know. So that puts me off to go that section. Just take one, go back and run away. So it's not like that. It is that the meditator, the mind which meditates, that mind itself to try to become compassion, become altruism. Not there is a altruism, there's a compassion, and your mind is looking at there, not in that way. So the med- but if you do the meditation on cultivate wisdom, like the wisdom to understand nature of impermanence, which is very important wisdom to be nurtured. I mean, there are others, you know, they lack emptiness, but this one, I find this one is very, very powerful wisdom. To really wisdom or to understand, to understand or to realize, to experience that nature of impermanence. The all things and events, including ourselves, are impermanent. And the Buddha, the historical Buddha, sees understanding that nature, the nature of impermanence, is something extremely helpful useful to reduce many, many in our distorted mental states, including grasping, craving, clinging, attachment. In the process of grasping, craving, clinging, in the process of operation of that, those mental states, if we closely look, if we long term, if we, you know, for, if we do a long term observation, then we will see that the main element of distortion in there is there is a sense of something going to last some time. In reality, all those things are not lasting, even the shortest moment of the time. Constantly changing. You know, constantly changing. Not only constantly changing, in the Buddhist, uh, some of the uh, Buddhist teachers, like this great Indian master called, you know, uh, Dhammakirti, he said, and I think that is really amazing understanding without modern, those technologies, those, you know, the, what's called the megascopes, you know, and the, without all those modern technologies, you know, simply just using the rational analysis. He said, in fact, the causes and conditions that bring those things and events 
into existence, those causes and conditions themselves carries the destruction of that, those things and events. And a very, very powerful statement. In other words, what he's saying, those causes and conditions make the things and events. They don't have any power, any strength to keep those things and events forever. And he said, moment, the moment that thing, that thing come into being, the destruction, dis, distraction, dis, how to pronounce? Destruction, yeah, you know, going into deterioration, start the same moment. There isn't a moment to stay not, in, not going into you know, deterioration. There isn't. But our mental state don't see that. Don't understand that. And particularly our, our immediate reaction. Maybe if we think, you know, rationalize, we may say, yeah, yeah that is true. You know, the, but uh, when when we when we when we run our daily activities, physically, verbally, mentally, these are not in a this 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 understanding is not in an operation. Instead, completely opposite one, opposite mental state is in an operation. And that is distortion, and that distortion leads craving clinging, grasping, attachment. And, you know, that's what here, the wisdom, you know. The, and, but now that my point is this, my point is this, how to bring that understanding, how to bring that understanding of nature of impermanence. Very, very different meditation from the previous one. In the previous meditation, to cultivate love, compassion, the meditator mind itself to become love, compassion, altruism. In this, in this meditation, when we cultivate wisdom, in this case particularly, wisdom realizing impermanence, in the meditation, we are not trying to our mind to become impermanence. It's already impermanence, whether we like it or not. You know, what we are trying is that nature of impermanence of my body, nature of impermanence of my mind, my feelings, my thoughts, my wishes. We try to understand those. These are the object. These are the things there. Our mind try to understand those things. Very, very different meditation. You know, so that kind of meditation is useful. But then there's all there, there, there are also some other meditations, like for example, you know, the, particularly in the Tibetan tradition, when you meditate. It is not only Tibetan tradition, also in Theravadan tradition, you know, meditate on Buddha. In that, in that case, either you can really, you know, visually, in the mental level, not in the you know, not in the uh, uh, sensory level, mentally uh, visualize, mentally have that kind of visual or that kind of image of Buddha. Try to bring, build that kind of image, and that is very different from the previous two meditations. So there are there are different meditations. But this all are, the purpose is your mind to familiarize, to familiarize with these important topics. 
is in so that and that is the third you know the topic in the uh, out of those three so now it's 8 8:30 so before i end uh, i would like to read a few verses from here uh, i will not make that much comment but i just would like to read this reading is uh, from yeah uh, the chapter is chapter is called the buddha so the verse here i'm going to read is verse 188 189 uh, 190 191 and 192 so i'll just read those verses uh, you know like a, as a conclusion of this Tuesday class and then we'll have you know, if there are a few questions we'll have them. to many places beings uh, to many places beings withdraw to escape from fear to mountains comma forests parklands gardens uh, sacred places as well but none of these places offer true refuge none of them can free us from fear and that's really useful you know that's verse 188 and 189 now 90 and 91 one who finds refuge in the buddha in the dharma and in the sangha sees with the penetrating insight, wisdom that we are talking about, sees with the penetrating insights, suffering, it causes, it calls, its release, and the way leading uh, to true freedom. So this, uh, which is verse 90 and 91, which is very nice words. You know, the 88 and 89 is saying, when we, try to, when we try to free ourselves from those mental anxieties or fears or worries, concerns, and so on and so forth, try to either hear the, hear the you know, the, uh, the, uh, the explains, try to go to different places, or not necessarily places, try to have so many different things, you know, stay in the same place, but, you know, become consumer. And what he's saying is those will not really give us the actual freedom from those mental difficulties. And from the, uh, from the Buddhist point of view, what, what kind of actual freedom from these mental fears, concerns, worries will give us refuge? You know, what kind of refuge? And then he is saying, one who finds a refuge in the Buddha, the, you know, and in the Dharma, his teachings, and in the Sangha, his communities, then next line is important. Sees with the penetrating insight, then in the semicolon, colon, and that is important, you know, meaning of taking refuge in the Buddha, the taking refuge in the Dharma, taking refuge in the Sangha is not just devotional blind faith. What this saying is, sees with the penetrating insight or the wisdom in the, in the semicolon, then to what? Those four noble truths. Suffering, it, its cause, its release, that means suffering and origins of suffering release or cessation, and the way, the path, and the way leading to, uh, uh, leading to true freedom. That's what, you know, noble eightfold paths. Today's are the last three, that is, right concentration, right mindfulness, and the right, right effort.
those are the last three. So these are the call, you know, the way leading to true freedom. Freedom from what? Suffering and the origins of suffering. And that is really very, very nice. Then, you know, the next verse, verse 192, it says, the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, in a then semicolon, colon, these are true refuge. These are supreme. These lead to liberation. So I'll leave it here. Okay. Shall we have question answer or not? Okay, you one. And you one. Down there first. Start from there. I'll take three questions, then we'll stop here. Down there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, start. Uh, thank you, Geshe. Um, Geshe uh, uh, um, mentioned about to cultivate mind with a certain qualities when you one doesn't really uh, and doesn't really need the religious mm -hmm. belief in order to make such practice, mm -hmm. and then involves uh, compassion and wisdom. Um, I didn't understand very well how can one make such practice. Such practice. Yes. Uh, Compassion met and wisdom. Methodology, yes. Compassion and wisdom. Okay. Yes. As I just mentioned, there are two different medita meditations that you need to apply. Mm -hmm. Compassion should be you know, meditated as a part of your mind. To your mind, make it into compassion. Wisdom, you see, your mind see, sees or understands like impermanence, nature of impermanence. And that is really what he had, how to do it. Don't ask me all the details. No time. <laughs> Here. Then I will move down there. Hmm? Um, I used to work in sales, and um, I went on a sales course, and one of the ways to come over and overcome negativity was to be positive. So um, I used to sell to traders who think are in time is in money. Mm. So um, it was very important to get your message across very quickly, and if they gave something negative, you'd say fantastic back, or you couldn't quite say I love you, but you, could, you, you made it sound positive. Mm. So... Um, when you come down to um, right livelihood, mm. how does that work if you're a policeman or a soldier? Because obviously policemen have to lock people up for a long time. Mm. And also if you're a soldier, you're fighting tyranny. Mm. So for instance, today there was nearly a war between, uh, started in Egypt and two people died. So two people died to stop a war which would have killed millions. Mm. Where is, what is right and what is wrong about that? Mm. And would, when it comes down to um, a violence where you're in a position where you are put into, uh, uh, where there's a threat to life, is it mm. wrong to strike out and save your own life mm. if you're under threat? Uh, or should you just stand there and let someone kill you? Okay. So you ask questions, maybe three days seminar. Seminar. <laughs> okay. Now the answer here, short, very, very short answer. You know, the, since human history, I don't know how many millions or billions of years, and since what human civilization or what we have known, and like since it, from, the Buddha, uh, from the Buddhist point of view, since the historical Buddha came, on this planet more than 2,500 years ago, you know that the difficulty, these kind of difficulties in the community, in the society, continues. But as an individual, what we can do, do our best, whatever professional that we have, police, army, you know, the traitors, whatever professional, as a as a part of the community, 
We need police. Otherwise, community will struggle. That is how the, now the 100, 100 years they build that culture. So the thing is, whatever professional job that you have, police, nurse, doctor, or whatever, trade, you know, the business, as I mentioned earlier, before you engage in your daily activities, set your intention into a positive intention. Whatever we do, you can set positive intention. Then continue. I can see you don't like it, but there's nothing <laughs> I can do. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm teasing you. Good. That's good. It, 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 you know, I know you've got some time, but I've never seen you being angry. So today, today, today you. <laughs> today you really, you know, makes me very fearful. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. Thank you. Yeah, last question. Um, yeah, I'm not fully sure actually how to ask it, but one of the things that I've had trouble reconciling is um, if the cause of our suffering is with is internal mm. and we can alleviate our own suffering mm. how do I reconcile that with having an obligation and a duty as a fellow being mm. to not harm you know any other living being because because logically it would stand that I can do whatever I want and then they can alleviate their own suffering mm. yes but uh, you're as an external first I'll, I'll, I'll answer your question in a slightly different order you know, you as an external to the, those, those living beings that you say, I will do whatever I want to obtain what I need, you are contributing, you might be contributing pain and difficulties to them. So in that sense, it is not right. Because as you don't want pain and difficulties, neither they. But they still have the ability now, to cure it for themselves. Yes, that is true. That is true. Now, taking it, you know, the, if somebody, not to come back to the yourself, you know, the, the pains and difficulties or the joys, happiness that you want to experience, the main sources are within yourself, although external facilities can provide limited joys, happiness, relief, limited pains and difficulties. At this stage, at stage right here and now, or the said answer, the answer in the not necessarily this stage, if somebody really wants to give you a big good smack <laughs> on your right cheek. Yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't have a right cheek, Nobody would give you a good smack on your right cheek. No matter how close, no matter their hand is big. So think about that. Sorry? I said, you know, if somebody wants to give her or you <laughs> want to give a good smack on your right cheek, if you hadn't had right cheek, that person cannot give you. No, 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 wait, wait. Do you understand what I mean? Sorry? Other words. What, how can I say that? In another way. Okay. Okay, so then, if not to take, so the meaning is this. Now, that if you want to understand the meaning, so the, to, you know, you to, the, somebody give you a, a, somebody cause you a pain hitting on your right cheek. Yes, the other person had, you know, used his or her hand, but you also you have the right cheek. That's the thing. Otherwise, that the person can't, the person, you know, pulling like this alone will not give you the pain. 
That, that's what I'm coming back saying. The root, the, according to the Buddhist, the root of the pain, difficulty, is within ourselves. And this is the chick in this case. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we'll leave it here. Yeah, we'll leave it here. So page uh, 28, praises to 21 Paris. Om Jetsu Ma Pamato Mala Cha Tse Lo Chang Tse Tru Ma Nyu Ma Pa Mo Jene Ke Chi Lo Tang Ta Ma Jik Ten Sung Kun Chu Ji She Ti Khe Sa Chi Wa Le Ni Chu Ma Chang Tse Tung Ke Ta Wa Kun Tu Kang Wa Jene Zi Pe She Ma Kang Ma Tung Ta Tso Pa Nam Ji Rabdo che ve ve ra pa ma, chan se se ngu chu ne je je, pe me chan ne nang pa ra je ma, jen pa zun du ka tu se wa, se pa sam te ju yu ni ma, chan se te shin se pe zu to, ta ye nang pa ra je wa ju ma, ma lu pa ru jen pa to pe, ja ve se ji shin du te ma, chan se tu ta ra hu yi ke, Tu da cho da nam ka ka ma, Jik te dung po shab ki nen te, Lu ba me ba gu ba nu ma, Chang se jya jin me la chang pa, Lung la na zho wang ju chu ma, Chong po ro la ti sa nam ta, Ni jin cho ji du ne te ma, Chang se te ji cha tan pe ji, Pa ro tu ko rap tu cho ma, E kong yun jang shab ki nen te, me pa tu pa shin tu pa ma, chan se tu re ji pa chen po, di ji pa o nang pa ra cho ma, chi ji shen ne chung ni ten ze, ta o tham ji ma lu se ma, chan se kun cho sum zun cha ji, se me tu ka nang pa ra ji ma, ma lu cho ji ko lo jen pe, rang ji ve ji cho na ma tru ma, chan se rap tu ka wa ji pe, O jin o ji chen wa pe ma, shi pa rap shi tu ta ra yi, du tan jik ten wang du ze ma, chang se sa shi kyung ve cho na, tham che gu pa nu ma ni ma, cho ni ye wa yi ke hong ki, pung pa tham che nang pa ra tru ma, chang se ta ve tung pu u ji, jen pa tham che shin tu pa ra ma, re pe chen ne ve pa me le, Ta pa ra shin to ve ra pa ze ma, chang ze ke ve ta ma me ta, ba ra ve chen ve u ne ne ma, e jya yung kum ku ne ko ke, ta e pung ne nang pa ra cho ma, chang ze sa shi ngo la cha ke, te ji nu jin shab ji to ma, chong ni jin ze yi ke hong ke, rin pa dung po nam ni ke ma, chang ze de ma ke ma shi ma, Nyang en te shin ju ni ma, so wa om da yang da ten pe, dik pa chen po jong pa ni ma, chang se ku ne kora pa ka ve, cha e lu ne nang pa ra ke ma, e ke ju pe ngha ni ku pe, rik pa hong le jong pa ni ma, chang se tu re sham ni ta pe, hong ke nang pe sa pe ni ma, ri ra men ta ra tan pe ke, Chik ten sum na ye wa ni ma, chang ze la ye cho ye nam pe, ri ta ta jin cha na na ma, ta ra ni ju pe ji ye ke, tu na ma lu pa ni se ma, chang ze la ye cho nam ke po, ha ta mi am ji te ma, gu ne gu cha ka wa ji ji, zi ta mi la wa ngay pa se ma, chang ze ni ma ta wa ji pe, Jin yi po la ve ra ve se ma, ha ra ni ju tu ta ra yi, shin tu cha pe rim ne se ma, chang se ti ni sum nam ke pe, shi ve tu ta yang ta te ma, tu ta ro la ni ju so na, chung pa tu re ra cho ni ma, sa ve ngha ji tu pa te ta, chang se wa ni ni shu sa. 
dedications in the last page. Chanjo Sam Cho Reboche Maje Panam Che Duroche Che Pa Nyam Pa Me Pa Ya Kone Kondo Tobze Corve shinkam de Penda dewa Malu jungene Chere sewa Tenzin jazo ye Shabe se de Pado denjo Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>